Hello, masters and princesses. Welcome back to the Uncle Yoshi channel. It's been a long time since I did a video where I speak. Um, the reason why I haven't been able to do so was because after I got back from Osaka to Yokohama, you know, I got very ill. So like the second half of my trip in Japan went to waste, so to speak. And if you're wondering what kind of illness I, I got, you know exactly what I got, right? So um, if I start coughing or something, um, then you know why. Uh, but uh, I am feeling better um, day by day. I try to do some short videos here and there and uh, hope you're enjoying that. But what I'd like to do today is uh, kind of talk about, you know, just things on my mind about Bandmade and Yokohama Arena show as well as showcasing of some of the uh, merchandise that I picked up and what you're seeing now is the 10th anniversary um, jacket that I bought, which was kind of expensive. It was 30,000 yen or something like that, which is like $200. And for the quality, paying $200 for a jacket, I mean, it's it doesn't really, it's not, it's not up to par, but it is a band-made jacket. And one of the things about Japanese sizes is that the sleeves, this is like, you know, I don't know if you can see, but it's not as long as it should be for, I guess, American people. And, and I'm one of those people that have longer arms. So um, I bought a large and it still feels a little tad short. Um, don't know why that is, but that's the way Japanese people's um, sizes are. But uh, this is the one that we're going to start off with. And then... I'll show you. Some of them are still in the package. I just got them like uh, yesterday, right? So uh, this is the second package that I got. There's more. The first package that came like a couple weeks ago. So this is the, the ribbon hat, which I wanted to buy at the Anaheim show, but I wasn't able to get it because they ran out. They don't didn't sell them anymore. And it was the last show of the U.S. tour. So I guess they didn't have any more uh, in America at the time. So this is, you know, the same kind of hat that most people can get. Uh, it says it says world domination in the back over there, and you have the the adjustable size. So like, whatever size you are, you should be able to fit it okay, right? So this is the ribbon hat, and I think you could get this at the Yokohama Arena show if you're going there. And um, I think as far as hats are concerned. I have the regular bandmate logo one, which I'll show you later. I think I will be giving that away on my channel down the line. And I am at 940 subscribers last I checked, and so we got 60 more to go. And after a thousand, I'll open up uh, giveaways and stuff like that, which should be uh, coinciding with um, the holidays, you know, Christmas, New Year's kind of thing, right? So um, on top of this jacket, I got this bandmade 10th anniversary hoodie and on, on the back of it you see the um you know the tour dates right and i'm not going to open this one but i'll show you what the tour dates look like Let's see this is the the shirt version right so the shirt i'm sure many of you who went to see them uh during the year got to see one of these shows right uh, I hope uh, all the dates kind of fit. Uh, they don't, huh? But uh, I'll just kind of move it around so you see the dates. And I went to the one uh, August 15th. And some of you went to a bunch of them. But all in all, 10th anniversary tour was really, really good. I think Bandmade really built a lot of confidence during this tour. Like, if you went to the one on May 14th, and then even the one in the first August, the 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 improvement or their confidence level on stage and everything, the way they perform, just get better and better and better and better. And I think they got more comfortable with being in America because this was the second year in a row that they came. I think in the first year there was a little bit of like concern with you know the the illness and all that stuff, and they were still wearing masks uh, when they were not playing. So. Um, yeah, this is this is the shirt, and on the um, this hoodie, and I think I bought a large. 
um, it'll have the same thing on the back, okay? So um, the next one is going to be the Shamble shirt, which was only available um, for those of you uh, Omeshu Sama um, uh, members. And I'm a member and I was able to buy it and have it sent to the place I was staying in Japan. And this is a large and I'm gonna keep this one, but I also have an extra large and a lot of people said um, extra large would be good. So this one will be kind of like a giveaway. And if you wanna see what it looks like on the back, this is the one where I think Miku is on the back and she had a lot of things to say about this, you know. Um, here it is. So Miku <laughs> was complaining about her legs. <laughs> like, my legs aren't like that or something like She was like really like, that's not me. <laughs> it looks way too muscular or something. But maybe maybe it's part of the the, the characters in the car or the animation for this song shambles i think a lot of the characters have like this muscle body build and they fight or whatever i i don't know enough about the animation but um i think that's where they try to make it similar right so this one is mine and i just took it out and and this one that's still wrapped will be given away to one lucky person right and I don't know which ones are going to be going first or whatever. So we'll, we'll see. There's other things that I have. This is a poster that I got. And I think it's the one that has Thrill on it. Let's see, it says Thrill. All right. So that's included in this one. Then I have two more posters somewhere. I don't remember where it is, but I'm sure it'll come up. And that one of those or two of those might be another one of those giveaways. And this is a white with a you know black background you know over here band made towel um thinking maybe I'll put this on my like like a pillow cover so to speak and so my head is resting on band made which is kind of cool and then they also have the other way around where it's a black towel with the white font right with the ribbons here like this so I kind of like this one better but both are really cool, so I got one of each. Um, let's see now, what else we got? Okay, so here's a couple of like band-made hats to the, with the logo, which I will probably give away both of these uh, down the line, okay? And uh, uh, these are also adjustable size. You don't have to worry about it. And then here are the additional posters. Um, this is the 10th anniversary tour and I have two of these. So I might keep one and frame them and stuff. And if you guys know the actual size, length and width, that would help so that I could, I don't have to open it yet. And then I wanna get like a frame so I could, you know, put it various places. I've, I've seen a lot of people frame them and put them in like their band made sort of like altar corner area. So I have these two here and I'll, give one of them away or maybe if I don't um, like some of the posters that are there's like multiple posters in here and if I if I see one that I'm like yeah I don't really care for this one then I'll give that away too okay um, let's see oh yes this is another band made towel with the graphic it's like a game right and uh, these uh, game graphics I think is also like made into a keychain and so far i have i have um uh akane misa and kanami i don't have saiki and miku so i'm gonna try and collect all five all right so here's another towel with all these different writings on it yeah band made towel so i have I think I have all of them or most of them, right? Then I have this um, poster cards. I bought two. So I think I'll give one of these away. Well, it's taped up now, so I can't open it. So um, this is probably going to be really nice because there's like multiple cards of band made 
and when I do open in mine, I'll do another video just showcasing this and I'll show you what each and every card looks like. And I'm sure it'll be mostly of the members and maybe it might be like a band name logo or something like that. So I have these here and one of these will be given away down the line. All right. Um, oh, okay. I have two of the keychains that I can show you. Konami is somewhere else in my room but i have misa and akane and i got i had i got two akane so one of them went to my brother because he's a drummer right so um i have these and if i get more like doubles and stuff those will start going to as gifts right uh, giveaways hmm. what else do we got i have these rubber band things I'm not sure what you can use them for, but I guess most people use them as wristbands, right? So um, I got these as well. And right now I just have the blue and the black and maybe I'll give one of these away. Um, oh yeah, there's more. These are like shirts. Okay. Nice. Fan made, I think this is the fan made long sleeve shirt. I didn't open it, so I don't know what the back is. Uh, should I open it? Well, when I open it, I'll show you. I'll take a picture and put it in the community post. But I think this is a long sleeve one, right? And then this one is a band made 10th anniversary. And I think you can see over there, it has band made. It has all the tour dates for Japan. So I got one of these because I went to the number hat show and um, that's the only one I have for the Japanese one, I think. Okay. Then I have another one of these. Um, you know, I don't even know for sure what it is. It might be just a regular long sleeve, but I have two. Maybe. Well, I think one of them has a dragon on the back and the other is just kind of regular logo now I'm like really curious so like let's see I'm gonna open this one now if this one has the dragon on the back yes it does check that out I like that pretty cool right dragon on the back but it also has these like things on the sleeves i don't know if this was a psyche designer or not uh, she likes to design things but when i saw this i'm like yeah i'll get this one this is cool and is this front or back yeah this is the back right and i remember at the anaheim show they had a long sleeve with band made in Japanese uh, katakana and I should have bought that and I, I just totally slipped my mind I didn't get it so um, I have plenty of long sleeve now so I don't really have to buy too many more clothes for the year and I think that's about it for with all the the goodies I have oh wait yeah you know what I also have additional things now these are not merchandise when I was in Japan I got a bunch of different things and one of them was the band made scorebook world domination and it's got like cool interviews and stuff so you know when I get a chance I may do like a little small summary video and this this is like psyche section and they have Akane section they have every member section and you have a write-up and stuff, so this is pretty cool. And if you want to know what songs are on here, here it is. Right? For those of you who play and need tablature, you know, you can get one of these, but most of the time you can find the tablature online through Songster or Ultimate Tab or somewhere. Even on YouTube, somebody has it up, so like, you know, you'll be able to find it. Otherwise, you have to learn by ear, right? And the other book here is, this is the brand new, brand new made, and it's, it has Yamaha signals, sign on it. 
and this is kind of cool like they they talk about Konami's like equipment and stuff and they show all the gear that she used to use and this is before she used PRS so this is a while back when they, it's more like their humble beginnings I guess right and uh, kind of like Tom's snare and stuff like that the pedals so this one has eight songs right non-fiction days great songs look at me order brand new road so these there's some of these songs are really old right um so if you're a new fan you may not know these and and um maybe like uh the earlier stuff i think wasn't written by bandmate it was written by other people so that they can play it and so i got these two and then uh there's some dust on the outside but i got the burn um bandmate this is more recent I got this, uh, had a friend of mine pick it up for me, so I got one of these, and uh, what else did I get? Oh. oh, this one I got from a while back, I still didn't open it, um, I bought it from eBay, I think, right, some kind of magazine featuring them, uh, Massive, right, and I bought... Two, wait, three CDs, of which two of them includes a Blu-ray. And this one is Start Over, right? But not just a single. It's the, the limited release print. And it's got, you know, um, one Blu-ray, a full concert, and it was two hours long. Really, really good. I think in the Bandmate Prime, you get a glimpse of them, maybe like four or five songs, and and you get the whole concert here. I got to watch it. Now, it didn't play on my DVD, I mean a Blu-ray player, but my Blu-ray player is old, so I had to like rip it somehow with the, the Blu-ray player recorder on my computer. So um, I'll do a, another showcasing of this, this um uh, CD in particular and just just kind of keep it short but um, this one was very expensive it's well over $200 uh, if you try to buy it on eBay luckily I had a friend of mine in Japan uh, who is going to the uh, Yokohama Arena show and uh, I treated him to a pair of tickets saying hey just order yourself a pair of tickets and and if somehow some way I could get there then I'll go with you, but, um, you know, I'm not well, so I can't go, right? And then, so he found a friend, and uh, he found a friend who could go, but then he got the flu, so now his friend can't go, so I had to give away the ticket. Well, not give away, but find someone who wanted either upgrade or someone who was willing to go, and all my friends in Japan couldn't go, um, and they don't really know Banmei that well, right? So uh, right now, Joe Luna is, um, and I'm sure most of you, some of you know Joe. He's the one that's always wearing the LA Dodgers um, uniform. Um, he might be able to uh, get in touch with my buddy over in Tokyo and, and upgrade to the 19th row. <laughs> I don't know how he did this, but... It's a random, like when you order tickets, like it's random seating. You don't know what you're going to get until you print it. And my friend told me he, he got 19th row. I'm like, oh, if I was there, I would have been with him. And like, I would have been able to see Bandmate 19th row at Yokohama Arena, which would have been mind blowing, you know, like, yeah, I went to see um, uh, Bandmate in Osaka. And that was like a 1500 um people the whole venue was about 1500 it was sold out now it's kind of in the back towards the mixer board but it was still close it was still close enough to feel like i'm very close to them so even 19th row from the yokohama stage might be even further away i'm not sure but um nonetheless it's a great seat to have right to be able to see bandmate up that close 
which is really, really awesome, right? And then I got the Sense Limited Edition uh, with the Blu-ray on it. And so I watched, I, I got to watch it a little bit. And these are, you, you might see some of these on YouTube, some, some people who upload it. You're not supposed to upload it, but some people do. And um, they had like these um, online Okuji kind of like studio recording of these songs here, I think. Yeah, I don't think there's any audience. They just played these songs and they recorded it and they put it on uh, this CD, which is, I've been wanting to get this and this is like anywhere from 60 to to $100 on eBay. But my, um, I think my aunt got this one for me on Amazon Japan. And, you know, if it was like uh, 5,000, I don't know if it was 5,000 or 6,000 yen. But if you do the math and you turn it to dollars, it came out to like 40 bucks, right? And then I got this one, which looks like just a white cover, but it is the first, first Banmei CD made in Japan, which if you go look for the original press, I think it was like a completely different label at the time. And if you look for, it's like a thousand dollars, anywhere from like, 700 to a thousand or something it's really expensive so i'm like oh i'm not buying made in japan and paying that much for that first album and i don't really like the first album it's just kind of like j-poppy rock it's not it's not heavy right but um you know some of the songs are decent like be okay is like pretty good and i think there's a couple of videos out on either facebook or youtube and you know, when you get sick or when things go really bad and listening to Be Okay is a really good song to listen to because it doesn't look like it's going to be okay when you're really ill or other things happening in your life and it's really, really bad. So, um, you know, I, I forget. Let me just get like the you know CD version of it. So I have the CD quality and then I'll, I'll burn it onto iTunes. So I got this for about... 20 something dollars I forget you know and it's kind of like um, uh, and it's not the original obviously right it's kind of like a cheap version of it so that's the rambling thoughts I have in my mind I just want to mention a few other things I, I don't want to give away everything but like I'm a subscriber to the Omeshu Sama member and when you're a member, you get emails directly from the, the band members, whether it's Akane or Saiki or whoever. And recently, Misa sent us an email, and before that, it was Akane. And they kind of go deep into um, what they're thinking, what they're feeling, what they're preparing, what they're doing, all, all kinds of stuff. And when Misa writes, you can tell that she is just really, really grateful that you know, everything is going so well in her life. She loves what she's doing. And, and you know, the Yokohama Arena. They call this uh, Yoko, uh, Yoko Ari or Yoko Ari or something like that um, to keep it short. And I guess it's like one of their biggest dreams come true to be able to play in a huge venue like that, right? Uh, kind of like, you know, uh, if you're in America and you want to be like, headlining at a big arena it would be Madison Square Garden or something like that and so you know um, she is really really grateful and I remember her email from earlier in the year when she did the first half of the U.S. tour she said she was absolutely like happy with just living life with joy like everything is going so well and and, and very grateful for what what is happening and now tomorrow they're gonna get to play and Akane said that it was like a Yokohama Arena was like the first venue that she ever went to for a live concert when she was younger, and and that was the day she she's like, I'm I decided to be rock, you know, I want to get into the rock stuff, and and one day be able to play here, and so she quit. She used to be in a brass like some kind of brass like I think she played tr uh, trombone <coughs> and she quit that and started a new band and said uh, there's a place where you could rent a studio underneath the Yokohama arena or somewhere in nearby 
and she would go there and practice all the time. Uh, so all these great sentimental things that they remember, they share it in the emails. And I just want to give you a few drops of that. And I can tell that they're just really, really excited to be able to play tomorrow at Yokohama Arena. And Misa did mention about how they wanted to be in, in a tip top physical shape. You don't, you know, you can't just like, you know, relax, right? So uh, they are preparing and they, they, they're they asking us to be ready as well. You know, take care of your health, you know, try to stay healthy and be able to get to the venue and all that stuff, right? So um, yeah, that's, it, it turned into a long video, but I'm just ranting here. Not kind of a, a bad thing, but rant in a way that I had all these things in my mind that I wanted to tell you guys. And then I got ill, you know, I got sick. So um, I haven't been able to do too many videos. Like I would cough so much that I couldn't talk well. But right now it's been okay. <coughs> Just a little bit of cough here and there. And for those of you who are going, as well as those who you, you know, going to be watching on the streaming, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. This is probably the last chance we'll get to see something like this for this year. I know they're going to be playing in Hong Kong, but and I, they probably won't stream it. But if they did, that would be really cool. So, um, yeah. So any comments, questions, just leave them down below. Hit the subscribe and the thumbs up and all that stuff. That'd be great. And once I hit 1,000 subscribers, I will open up uh, giveaways and stuff. Okay. Stay tuned for more videos and I'll see you in the uh, next one. Okay. Have a good one. Bye.